All right, everybody. Well, as you can see, the seat trim is on and it, it's got the curve in it. And it turns out that just underneath, kind of like the aft end and this forward end, you can actually get your hands up under there and, and it's like a it's like a handhold. Um, let's see if I can get this up under here. Yeah, you can see where uh, you can get your hand in there. And that helps out, um, I suppose, when uh, you're healing over or whatever. Plus, you know, it, it, it's got that curve, so it looks real nice. April 15th, or is it the 16th? Where in the world does time go? I've been, uh, well... I've been kind of sort of stumped on a few hardware issues and fastener issues, getting the right length of fasteners for different things. I started working on the hardware for the center board and um, ran into issues with placement of the cheek block back here and the cam cleat. I don't want it on center and have that rope and the and the other block rub on the centerboard case. So I'm going to move everything over a little bit, and that means I need a backer block up underneath the screw too. So I had to wait for longer hardware screws to come in that are going to screw into a backer block. I got the doors um, three coats of paint. And it's just um, bilge paint on the inside. And they're not completely permanently in place, but I'm working on the latch latches and the door locks for those. Um, I broke out my, uh, I think it's 4300, 3M 4300. And the boat is sealed up again. So I got my sunfish balers on either side. I'll have to go ahead and slap some more bottom paint around that. I put in the motor well um, plates. There's one up on the forward bulkhead in that area that completely seals off the forward um, compartment. So this is a watertight compartment. That one went in. Um, that one over there is in place. So, once I tape off where I don't want anti-skid, I can go ahead and put down the anti-skid on the floor and then glue down the rest of the plates and screw them down. So, let's see, what else? Um, wasn't really too sure what to do with this motor transom mount thingy. Let's see here, it goes right here. I really don't want to glue it in place. I did drill some holes on the inside here to screw it in place and I could always access it from that that cover there but then I thought about I use stainless steel lug screws and washers but I'll give this a uh, about three good coats of CTOL. That's what the uh, mooring posts are coated with right now CTOL. And uh, turns out real nice, nice finish on it. So I'll coat the motor support and I'll just um, bolt it in place so that if it ever has to be removed, I can do that easily enough. Uh, what else? Um, oh my goodness, I had, had a real issue. Now, I, I like ordering stuff and I ordered some cleats from a very common marine online well marine store it's online and you can also walk in and buy stuff anyway um I made some backing plates that go underneath the bow like so and this would go up underneath the deck and this would 
screw down on top. And when I started looking at this, and the fact that I really don't feel like getting knuckles scraped on anti-skid and stuff, I thought I'd do that. Put a little bit more bright work on top of the boat. Um, obviously, there isn't much. I'm, I mean, the, the rowing thwart will get coated. And, um, you know, there, there is some trim work around the bench seats and some trim here on the forward bow. And there'll be trim on, on those two aft compartments there. And, of course, the uh, rub rails. But I thought I'd add that there. And I uh, asked a few people with or without most said without and i asked the captain <laughs> i asked elijah because this is his boat and he likes it with so the block stays so anyhow that's uh oh my goodness i don't know what happened to the time i've got the mass laying on the ground here um i stuck a drill bit in either end i'm going to raise it up a few inches so i can actually roll it around on the uh, end to end and try to get any high spots or low spots planed out on this before final sanding um, for the most part it's pretty good but I've got to get it I, I want to get it better and um, I've been thinking on how to go ahead and Get this off the cart and on the trailer so I've already seen what I want to or yeah seen on YouTube what I want to do to to manage that because the boats are a lot heavier now oh and I think since the last time I videoed I might have had might not have had the centerboard in place but it is in place now and that was a bear to get in all right so <laughs> and one other one other delay well two other delays um, I took a break from the boat a couple days ago and I'm welding up. It's all tacked right now. No legs on it, but this is a ladder rack that'll be for the truck and it'll extend over the cab. Um, that, that distance right there will actually extend over the cab. And that's for the, um, rooftop tent. And then I went ahead and, uh, I know try to focus on one thing at a time. But this was for sale at the airstrip I fly out of. Obviously, this is not boat work, but this aircraft here, Fly Baby 1B, came up for sale. And it's done up like an SE5A. Find the ad. There she is. Now, the colors are different. Obviously, the pictures in the beginning of this video show different colors. But this is the actual plane. Um, 78 FP is now mine. And I cranked it up the other day. So, that got in the way a little bit. Um, but I can't go crazy on nothing but boat all the time. I've got to, you know, make the wife happy. And, <laughs> of course, not... Buying an airplane didn't make her very happy, but, um, you know, we, we do things. Uh, we go out and dinners and stuff. But the airplane, you know, it was, uh, I couldn't pass up that opportunity. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, holy smokes, I don't know what happened to all the time lately. Um, obviously, April is out of the question. My dad's like, you know what? Don't rush. Um, May, June, whatever, it, it'll get in the water. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to reserve a campsite on the lake that I scouted out a few weeks back and, um, reserve two nights, I think, uh, middle of June before it gets too unbearably hot and... That way, if I have an actual date on the calendar, I think I'll be able to uh, focus more. There isn't really much left. Just a handful of hardware. 
um, after I bolt that motor transom in, motor block, motor mount, whatever, then those two aft panels will get glued down permanently, paint those, put the trim on. Then the boat is, that's it for all the woodwork to be glued onto the boat. So then it's just a matter of, of you know, clean up these masts, uh, break out the sails and, and do a little rigging. All right, so I've, I've been yakking a little too long. I like to keep these videos a little shorter so uh, people don't scroll on through them. All right, thanks a lot for watching and indulging in uh, my other hobbies, and we'll see you out on the water.